Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can make a nested and prioritized list of tasks inside of the Todoist app. So right now we're looking at the web interface on desktop, but you can also get mobile apps for it if you prefer that sort of thing, or if you want to synchronize your lists between devices. But anyway, the first step of this quick tutorial is going to be to add a new project. So this could be anything you want if you're working on a program or you're working on some business task. Uh, just go in there and hit Add Project and give it a title. So I could call this Chris Tutorials Tutorial because we're doing the project of making a tutorial right now, so why not? Uh, you can choose a project color, which is kind of nice. You have a lot of options here. So I will go ahead and give it a nice teal and hit Add. So once you do that, it will switch over on the right section um, to be in the project view mode. And you can click between any projects you want on the left in order to make that the currently selected project. So to add tasks in, we need to click on the Add Task button. And we can go ahead and give it a name. But before that, if we want to set priorities, we can either click over here on this flag and select a priority from the drop-down list. Obviously, priority one would be top priorities, the most critical tasks at the top. And then priority four at the bottom for things that have not been sorted or are just really low priority tasks. But a quicker way than uh, actually selecting those from the drop down menu is simply to type either P1 to P4 at the beginning of your text over here uh, in order to set the priority just with your keyboard. So for instance, I can make this a priority two task by starting by typing P2 on the keyboard and you'll see that it immediately gives you that priority flag. And then I hit space and actually type in what the task is about. So let's say make a tutorial and hit add task. And we can go ahead and keep filling this up with some random tasks. So I'll set a priority four task, eat lunch. Uh, you could argue that should be much higher, but uh, we'll just go with that for now. And let's say priority one task, write some code and enter. One of the handy things about prioritizing your list now is that if you go to the top right hand section where it says project actions, you can sort by priority so that you can accomplish the tasks that are the most crucial for right now. So obviously that's already handy above just having a general list where nothing is prioritized. But we need to go a step beyond that and actually write some nested subtasks. Because if you're writing a computer program, obviously there's a lot of things that go into that. You wouldn't just say you write some code, you'd have different systems that you need to work with. So let's go ahead and create a new task and I will say priority one. And we'll have this task character movement. And we're going to want this character movement task to be a child or a nested task of the write some code task. So if we go over here to the bottom right of adding a new task, you can see that there's a drop down menu and you can choose either subtask or parent task. So if you want the task to become a subtask of whatever's above it, you would hit control right to make it a child or subtask. And if you want it to become the parent, then you hit control right on your keyboard. So with the drop down menu unselected, if you click on the text box for entering the task, you can hit control right to make it a child task or control left to move it up one level. And then we would hit control left to make it a parent task, but it will become the parent of whatever's under it. So if you want this new task to become a parent of an existing task, you would have to rearrange them. One way to do that is to click on this area where you can move your tasks around and drag and drop them. And now I can hit control left. So now if we want to take this task and make it a sub task or a child task of another one, such so as write some code, then we can go to the bottom right hand section where we have this drop down menu and you'll see subtask and parent task. So you can move tasks down or up one level by hitting control right or control left on your keyboard. Uh, all these tasks right now are at the top parent level. So you can't actually move it more to the left. You could only move a task downwards. Um, but if you have the text box selected, then you can do that with key combinations by hitting control right to make it a child task or control left to move it back up one level, putting it as a parent task. But having it as a child task right now would put it as a child task of eat lunch. So we would actually want to move this up here to the top where we have write some code. The easiest way to do that would be with the mouse. We can click on this section here and drag that up to where we need it to go. You can also notice that by dragging it around, you can make it a child or a parent depending on where you drop the task's location into. So using the move method this way is pretty easy as well. So if we drop it down there under write some code, we can finish adding the task there. And now we have a child task for write some code. You also notice that when we create a new child task of that parent task, that this new task is already created as a child. 
So I could hit control left to go and make this new task a parent task rather than a child task. Or I could leave it alone if I want to add more tasks under write some codes. So another thing I might add for write some code, if we're talking about like writing a game in Unity, might be give it a character attack. So we could say priority two here, P2, and then character attack code. Sure. And then just hit add task. And what you can actually do in Todoist is go another level deeper. So if you wanted to have a child task of a child task, you can hit control write one more time. Uh, bumping it down to the third level of tasks. So under character tech code, we could say open visual studio. Pretty silly task, but one nonetheless. And I can go back to the start here and type in P4 and then space if I want to add in that priority. But maybe we'd actually make that more like priority one and then hit add task. So a couple more quick things about all of this. With any of the tasks, you can set a due date on them by clicking on them, hitting schedule, and then choosing your due date or typing it in. So I could say do tomorrow and then hit save. And now this task should be completed by tomorrow. If you hover over a task, you can also click on the calendar without going into the task editor to quickly add in the due date. So that works pretty handy. One more way that you can add a task, especially to over the existing tasks, is to right click on the task and then do add task below which will open up the task editor with it already parented as you desire it. And we could add in here, look up references on YouTube. So you can actually type in the priority at the end of entering a task rather than at the start. And let's just add in one more priority for a task called coffee, uh, completely unrelated. And the reason we'll do that is just to demonstrate how the priority sorting works. So inside of this write some code priority one task, we have a bunch of different tasks of varying priorities. But because all of these other tasks are parented under the write some code priority one task, these are going to show up in the list before these other priority two tasks. Um, now inside of the character attack code, there's three tasks of varying priorities. The coffee task should get sorted to the bottom here uh, because it is the lowest priority in this sub list. So let's go ahead and sort by priority there. And so you can see that tasks will be sorted at the current level from highest priority to lowest priority. But within the subtasks, they have their own sorting. So character attack code goes below character movement and coffee goes below look up references on YouTube rather than under make a tutorial. Because although this individual subtask has a lower overall priority, it's still nested under the higher priority write some code tasks. And so hopefully utilizing Todoist like this can help you guys organize some of the projects that you might be working on in your day to day. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys got something out of this and I will see you guys in my future video content.